Uh, let's make this uh, altered book cover together. Grab some journal or maybe uh, old book with hard cover that you can alter and uh, embellish your own way. Grab some metal embellishments, resins, flowers, paints, all the old stuff that you have and didn't use for a very long time. I'm gonna walk you through this process uh, step by step how I made this and I hope you will join me and create your own. So let's do it, let's do it together. Use your stash, use your stash but not any stash, use your very old things that you collected over the years. Uh, this is a box full of wonderful metal goodies, embellishments. I'm gonna put it on the floor because I cannot fit here in the on the table in the camera. And I'm gonna create uh, a book cover, this journal book cover. I got this book ages ago, it has lovely chipboardy pages and I think it will be lovely to use uh, and create a cover. I haven't done video like that for ages so I think it would be great because many of you are wishing for projects that could be used to sell items in your online stores or give as a gift so this will be a wonderful idea I hope. I'm gonna prime my project first, my cover and I'm gonna use white gesso. I'm gonna open my book and I'm gonna prime everything with white gesso. Why am I doing this? Well, as always, it's good to prime to prepare your project for future work with mediums or anything that you wish to uh, add here. So I like to always prime my project, especially my, my, my like this, I say page because I mostly prime my pages. I like to prime my surface because it's much easier to work and things won't sink through. So that's really the the reason. I'm gonna move that away. Um, so there we go. And white gesso. Uh, the white gesso comes in many forms. You can have it more liquid, more thick. Uh, it depends on the brand, depends on the who makes it. Uh, use what you have. You can also make your own white gesso. I'm sure you're aware of that. If not, look for recipes online. On YouTube there's plenty recipes that you could basically made it from white acrylic paint and baby powder as far as I know. Because I've done modeling paste some time ago and it worked fabulous. I'm just too lazy to redo it, <laughs> to be really honest with you. But they do work perfectly and it's fine to use your homemade stuff. So you can do that and use your homemade things. Now, your surface doesn't have to be so precisely covered or is so phenomenal uh, even surface. No, because we will be adding some texture, we'll be working with texture stuff. Of course, you can just concentrate uh, on covering it all, but it doesn't have to be so even because the texture is not even, so anything, uh, any imperfections are absolutely fine. Y even the brush strokes, I really don't mind them. I really don't mind them. So, um, my 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 motto is don't stress over simple things in the mixed media because mixed media it's not about being perfect so you can do whatever you wish now if you be asking me about the book uh, this book is from Scrapinets but the same brand as the chipboards but again you can you can make a cover uh, from for old book for some album photo album for um, journals, anything really, anything, whatever you have it at home. I hope to use many materials today, I don't know what yet, uh, I have just few things around me, but definitely I'm gonna concentrate and make sure I'm gonna use old things, things that I haven't used for ages, for ages, yeah, that's the idea. Now, I'm gonna leave it for dry and I'm gonna come back to you in just a few minutes. I'm back to you with my journal book nearly nearly dry. I'm gonna use this word stencil uh, This one is from 13 arts. I really like that. I have to say one of my favorite stencils uh, So any stencil really that you have will work beautifully so have a look what you have and not easy <laughs> to stencil when you have 
uh, uneven surface and things are moving but that's okay I'm, I'm gonna try to improvise a little bit and I will I see now that I didn't cover perfectly my book that's okay you know what maybe I'm just gonna leave it and see how good or bad this will be regards the uh, color oh I love that I love that love that love that love that okay <laughs> and maybe I'm gonna do like this actually will that be much easier much easier I'm sure uh, now I'm not concentrating on achieving any uh, that's okay any particular um, I don't want I, I don't mind if the stenciling doesn't make sense the words I don't really concentrate on that I'm not bothered with uh, what what's visible and readable if you know what I mean I'm just concentrating really oh the little Baba is chatting there away I think um, I'm just concentrating really on uh, just on getting my texture really not really concentrating on having the any sense here <laughs> and I'm just gently touching here so I wouldn't have much of free space that's okay that's lovely I absolutely love it I'm gonna cle clean my stencil quickly and get back to you <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna use will be this um, Resist Canvas. This is pretty old product. I'm not sure if you can still get it. It's from Prima Marketing from Finavar, and they are different colors, uh, different uh, shapes, as you can tell, different patterns. So I'm gonna use a mix of that. Now again, if you don't have it, you can use some burlap, you can use some lace instead, or um, canvas. Sometimes you can buy canvas with no pattern in the. Uh, in the sheets of like a block like 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 I don't know like a notebook with sheets of of them so again please just try to use what you have now I am trying to concentrate today to use things that I haven't used for ages just so to give you encouragement to use uh, things that are very old as well just sorry just for yourself just to see that you can actually you can actually go back to things and enjoy them so that's really the idea today. Uh, I love uh, certain products. I have the, loads of them because I kept them. I didn't feel like <laughs> using too much or something. So uh, this is one of them. I really like that canvas. So I'm going to be using now. I will not be doing anything on the back. So this part will be as it is just with the touch of um, modeling paste. And this I hope to have. Um, I hope to have. Um, with some embellishments this part so the front uh, of the cover um, I will be building some composition here and I just wonder what what to use will I use gel medium or will I use hot glue but I'm gonna chance it and actually try to use some hot glue this time why not why not to use a hot glue gun um, I think this should be fine oh the little baby Now, my modeling paste is still wet and I really don't mind that because this will stick even better. Oh, I nearly burned myself, so be careful if you're using hot glue gun. Now, this should be absolutely fine, I see. Uh, like, different elements, uh, maybe it's better to use modeling, uh, better to use, um, what you call it, um... Ah, gel medium. I'm losing my uh, my words again, but this time it's okay. Now, so I'm gonna be placing this here. I think I'm gonna go for a composition where I have things in the middle and things here on the on the bottom. I think, or maybe on both. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> Just you know, it will be interesting to see where this goes. I I hope for some bit of challenge maybe today and. Same for you. I hope you will challenge yourself by going back to your stash and having a look and checking out what you can use. And yeah, there's so many beautiful old uh, elements that I have kept, and I think it's time to use it. I really think it's time to use it, especially that usually they're so pretty that it's worth to just 
enjoy them, you know. And also one super important thing I wish to mention now. Uh, sometimes I get those messages or comments saying that, you know, everything is fine, but you use so many expensive products that, um, you know, not everyone can afford. And I always refer to my uh, videos where I use my stash and use my uh, elements uh, use things from the house that are not necessarily expensive so I wish to say this again that even if this in this video you're gonna find loads of crafty goodies that you don't own and you feel that it's a pity that you know I'm using expensive maybe products or that you don't have this and this and that you know n n I I have to kind of not that I have to that's a bad put word I love creating both ways with no uh, with with loads of oh, with loads of uh, beautiful crafted materials, or with really budget stuff. So today it will be probably a little, you know, using a more of expensive things, proper crafty goodies. I'm gonna check on Hannah first. <laughs> she seems to be fine now. <laughs> I think that maybe she hears me that she's like. Oh, uh, where's mama? Uh, uh, where's my milk? Uh, uh. <laughs> so what I was saying, oh yeah, so today's video probably probably will consist loads of, uh, you know, crafty goodies, proper stuff. Uh, but bear in mind that, uh, you know, you collect those goodies. If you're a crafter with a long period of time, for a long period of time, you collect those goodies and you just have them. So it takes time to build your stash as well. And it's okay if you don't have it. And it's okay to... Uh, compre uh, compro not compromise, so substitute things to try to find different solutions. Um, so you, on my channel you will find both, a little bit of both uh, ways of creating some with expensive, some with mix, some with, you know. So today I'm concentrating on using old stash, things that we kept for ages, things that we spent money on, and we just didn't use it because we felt like, oh no, I'm going to keep it forever. And forever is wrong because... Um, Oops, because we have to enjoy as well things that we purchase. So this is how it looks. This is those are elements of canvas which are pretty and I absolutely love, 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 love. Now time to do a bit of uh, 3D embellishments, maybe some chipboards, maybe some metals. I'm gonna have a look what I have and I'm gonna show you. This is interesting. Um, Emily made those for me. One day she was, uh, that was quite some time ago. Let me just put that out. Those are elements made from um, clay. I had silicone molds <laughs> and she sat down one day and she just was so patient. That was ages ago and she did loads of uh, loads of things for me. So I, do you know what? I'm gonna use it today. Sure, why not? Um, why not? I absolutely love them. She is such a good child, isn't she? I love them elements. Look how cool are those. So I'm just gonna have a look and see what I can do. And oh, the Baba. <laughs> mm, I'm trying to build up some composition and trying to see things. So I have some lovely crystal drops as well. I hope to add those. Lovely, lovely. I like that. And I have some mechanicals from Prima as well from Fenovar. So let me see if those will match. And I think they would be nice. They could be pretty pretty nice now again you can try and get some metal embellishments uh, from all over it it really is uh, there is loads of those on the market so you just have to have a look and see I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna get get them take them out and see where I can add those Mm -hmm. They are lovely, isn't it? They really are. Maybe like that. Something like that, you know, something along along those lines. So I'll see where this could be. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that very much, actually. Oh, they're super cute, I think. Now I'm just trying to see where things could be and how to use those. So the composition kind of goes 
like that. Interesting enough. <laughs> Interesting enough. Maybe uh, uh, some some glassy cabochons as well. I have some here, so that could be nice. Maybe. Mm hmm. I just posted uh, a sneak peek on my Instagram with all those little beautiful goodies here and on my Facebook page. Some crystal drops and some lace. I'm gonna try to recreate this composition somehow. So I'll see how this will be. I have lovely, lovely flowers from Little Birdie, those tiny flowers. So I'm gonna try to recreate something similar to that. I have some cabochons and I maybe I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna use some gel medium uh, to add color. Oh, my brush is yellow. Oops. <laughs> to add some uh, gel medium under my lace, and I'm gonna stick my lace somewhere here. There we go. Why am I using gel medium? This is exactly the same reason as always. Let me just bring that camera a bit closer, maybe. Okay, so you can see it better, I hope. Uh, gel medium will basically um, uh, help you out to create a uh, dimension with heavy elements. So you use gel medium to make sure that your heavy elements like metal embellishments, they're not going to fall apart, fall, away, fall off from your project, basically. Okay, so this is where I'm placing my second lace. This lace can be found in my Etsy store if you uh, wish to look for some lacy flowers so uh, they come in a little packs like that with seven I think different flowers so you can have a look in the store so I'm gonna start building up my composition and <laughs> our little uh, little baby can be heard in the background sometimes I think because she can hear me maybe and she's like mm, I hear mama where's mama and why she's not here next to me? <laughs> That's strange. Okay, so I'm gonna try to recreate the composition, but I don't think it will work. <laughs> Knowing me, I think it's gonna be its own life. It will have its own life, basically. So I'm, 3D gel is better than soft gel because it, it has the grip straight away. Soft gel may not have enough of the body in in inside so i i would suggest to use 3d gel or a heavy gel body gel so something like that now i like that i love that very much and so those are metal embellishments hello baby hello <laughs> emily came from school and she's having a peek in my studio what is mama doing? <laughs> now, those are, as I said to you, resin embellishments that I have been created by my Emily. Do you remember them, Emily? You made those for me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, see? I did make those. You did. So they were waiting for a perfect project, for a perfect time, and I think this perfect time just came. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for making those for me. You're welcome. Yeah. I have no patience for those kind of this type of work. I will learn that because I love them embellishments. I love I think it's wonderful that you can create your own. So that's totally totally awesome. Uh, maybe something like that. Now it's actually lunchtime in our house, so if you will hear some uh bowls, we have a chicken soup today. Uh, if you will hear some uh, noise from kitchen, like the uh, cutlery and things like that, it's because it's lunchtime, <laughs> soup time, soup time. So now, the way I build my composition, you can tell that I am adding, I'm starting from flat elements like lace as a first, so this is your tip. And then my second element are the biggest elements and the heaviest, so you can see. So the background, the background canvas first, then we've done some lacy here, and then we've done the heaviest and biggest embellishments, and we work from there and we're adding smaller elements now. That kind of 
way. Ah, I like that. I love them elements very much indeed. This is nice as well. Flowers and all. They're all super awesome. Okay, I'm trying to see what's sticked, what's not sticked. <laughs> what's sticked, what's not sticked here. And we have a little lamp as well. <laughs> what about making things upside down and not so obvious? <laughs> Because things don't have to be obvious and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go upside down with my lamp and that's it. And that's it. You can just be creative in that way and just think outside think outside the box and just use your imagination, things you know, try to see things differently. Not us not always the way as they were created that the, the how what they were created for you know it's just nice to maybe have a different idea I like that I'm just trying to you know I don't want this to be too much because sometimes you can just go over too much and it's oh that's nice and it's just too much too many and it's just crowded so but this time I really wish this cover to be a little crowded so I really don't mind the crowd the 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 cover to be a little bit crowded. Okay, now I think it's time for the smaller embellishments. I wonder if in the video you can hear the squeaking floor <laughs> when someone is coming to my studio, like Emily came, and the noise of the t of the <laughs> of the floor. This is crazy. Three-year-old floor um, because we built a house three years ago, and it's already making noises. That's pretty bad, like cr crazy, isn't it? No, I don't like that there. But maybe there. Mm-hmm. Like a joint, joint thing. This brush is not the best because it's huge for them embellishments. I'm checking if the camera is running still. It is. So we are good. We are still we are still recording <laughs> so yeah I love that I love them embellishments one of my favorites probably are those let me think where to put it somewhere else somewhere different now uh, what about our oh definitely my crystal drops I love them you, ha you can have a look how delicate they are and the nice crystally little elements which are awesome I think where would you like to go maybe here whoops maybe there Mm-hmm. And what about this one? Maybe here. Mm-hmm. I think we're pretty good. We were nearly there with our embellishments and all. <clears throat> I will stick the flowers as well. Just wondering where to put it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have a play first before I add anything. Oh, the papa. The papa is saying hi to everyone, I think. <laughs> the little noises that kids make are so funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. I do. <laughs> I think Emily is making noises, uh, not noises, faces to her or something that she's laughing and chatty. She is a chatty box guys. I know it. she's only nine weeks old. She's already a chatter like she loves the company and she be smiling and staring at you 
Uh, she just loves being around us so much and of course vice versa we love having her with us of course I like that guys I really love that now I think I'm gonna actually leave that to be kind of separated mm -hmm. and maybe have no flower or a tiny flower or, or, or nothing or I don't know or maybe the small one maybe the small one Actually, actually, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. It's always such a difficult decision. Where? No, I'm gonna skip that. I like that delicate as it is. Maybe with the smaller flower only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hanya. <laughs> she is a funny little girl two of them are funny little girls I have to say now where will I put this <laughs> someone is smiling and laughing away oh there that would be nice <laughs> kids love kids isn't it so Hannah loves Emily Emily loves Hannah so that's a win-win situation oh. or will I just maybe look maybe the only the middle sized flowers are fine and that's it and just let's leave that big one away you can always change your mind guys there we go I love that now a few more tiny ones like a tiny f on only few like like really few here and there like not nothing not too much not too many not too major no that's too even now, even. To e that's even to even. <laughs> Maybe somewhere there, like. Mm -hmm. Little birdie flowers are a great addition to your projects. Oh, there we go. I'm done. I'm really, I really am done now with my composition, and I love that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, before anything else, I'm gonna grab my white gesso and I will I will add a, 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 a delicate touch of gesso to my uh, brown embellishment so this will be drying now itself I'm gonna have a soup <laughs> with the family we're gonna have a chicken soup so this will dry itself nicely so I'm gonna just uh, give a little touch of gesso to my embellishments the first coat only I probably will need a second one but at least the first coat uh, and this can dry nicely together mm -hmm. there we go so this can nicely dry and I can get back to you and get back to the project in just a few minutes when everything will be nice and dry because it takes time for gel medium to dry so either you dry it with gel with hot with um, with the t tool or just leave it for dry itself so I'm gonna just leave it for dry now and I'm gonna come back to you let me just show you quickly how this looks so there we go this is what we have and my girls came to the studio together where the big one is holding the smallie <laughs> Hi, Hanya. Hello, girls. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to you in just one minute. Well, one second actually for you. <laughs> Here I am back to you after a lunch break, I call it. <laughs> and I'm not on my own here. <laughs> There's a little baby with me. Like last time, in halfway of the video, uh, I have a little visitor. Now, let's color it because time for color and Hi! <laughs> and I have this idea of coloring this with black and white brown, kind of different than what I maybe usually would go for. And I'm gonna experiment and see what I can do. Hello! No? No coloring? No? A little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> I did put some uh, paper, some kitchen towel there, so it wouldn't uh, get 
dirty too much on my table, right? And on under the project. Eat the dodo. Eat the dodo. Dodo. Okay, so I'm gonna spray white spray. Oops, where this came from? <laughs> spray in loads parts of my project and what I'm gonna try to do now I'm gonna grab uh, a little bit of dark oops and I'm gonna go just in some parts oops be very careful <laughs> otherwise you're gonna end up like me with dark everywhere so I, I wish my black to go kind of where uh, my what's the words uh, you know more under underneath it kind of that kind of way so I'm gonna just gently add some color now uh, finally Hannah took a dodo it's hard for her to have a dodo because uh, when you breastfeed the shapes of uh, whatever, it's just different, so <laughs> it's hard for her. Uh, now, so instead of going with the black directly, I'm just trying to add some black underneath it. Oh, the big yawn is there. Underneath my embellishments, if you can tell. Probably you can tell. <laughs> uh, where this will take me, we shall see. We shall see. I'm not saying anything. Maybe I'm gonna spray directly in a minute. I don't know. I don't know. For now, let's just have a touch of black here and there and see how this will be. Mm hmm. I like that. I love that actually. Hello, baby. Are you helping mommy? Kind of. <laughs> now the reason I sprayed this with black, uh, with white, I'm gonna use different spray, is because uh, now when you open it, sometimes you have the powder, so don't do it on top of your project if you open it at all. Uh, sometimes it's just better uh, for spreading the the color if I have this surface wet, and instead of going with water, I used white spray. You can use white spray, of course. So, if you have white spray, that's fine. Now, I love what I'm seeing very much. Now, you may hear the little baby being a, a little bit, uh, what's the word, impatient. I wonder if she's actually hungry. Is it possible that some kids are, like in general, that kids have those growth moments that there is this time in their, there's this moment in their, um, life hi baby that they just grow more <laughs> than usual and they eat more because she seems to be very hungry today isn't it <laughs> yeah are you hungry a little bit i think you are you are <laughs> yeah <coughs> excuse me and uh, now i'm gonna th i think i'm gonna dry this a little bit in places and well I'm trying to see if I can actually do a little trick uh, with my black and I'm gonna show you now what I'm talking by trick I'm thinking and I hope that this will run down run down here down where my Mm-hmm. Is it clean? It's still clean, but probably not for long. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna show you what I'm what I mean. So if I'll go more with white, maybe. Did I just spray my fruits? <laughs> I have some healthy option after soup today. Yum yum. That's what I'm talking about. Hey! I'm not looking at you, isn't it? Is this the case? Is that the case? 
I think that's the case. You wish me to look at you all the time, isn't it? Now, mind your spray if it's open like mine at the moment, like this, and be careful because you could you could uh, basically throw it down, and uh, it's possible I still can do it. I'm not saying no. Now, so I'm trying to. I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah, I do. Can you imagine a nine-week-old baby is literally trying to gain your attention already? I see you, baby. Now, I love that very much. Let me just grab more white and just have this run even more. I'm coming, I'm finishing nearly, because this will dry, sweetheart. This will dry and mommy will be all yours. Yes, I will be all yours. Oh, I will be all yours, I promise. I promise, I promise. A little more black. Oh, yo, no, baby. I'm here and I can hear you. And I'm gonna talk to you and show you guys. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how lovely is the the uh, canvas resist canvas resisting, and you see, can you see the beautiful the beautiful um, colors going through? But the the little uh, what's our design is there is there? <laughs> little kids are so funny. Now I absolutely love that. So what I'm gonna do is I will. I, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm really uh, I am really afraid to to do it too far too much that it will just go um, you know too too to something too dark or whatever. So you have to be very careful on that. You don't want things to go too um, you don't want to go over too much with the color. So slowly, 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 step by step. And you get there. I think I, I'm loving that very much. Now, one thing I wish to do is tiny touch, maybe like this. But yeah, exactly, grabbing my white, diluting my white, so this is not that black, not that dark, as you can tell probably. Now, and I'm dilut diluting even more. I am now like this, like this. And like that, maybe. I'm coming. I'm coming. I am. Okay, let's try this. Um, now it's time to add some white gesso. Hello. <laughs> Hi. A gesso. A gesso. So I'm adding some white. Oh, no, I don't think she likes gesso. Let me. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> this is quite funny. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at her, but it's quite fun. Are you okay? Are you okay? Would you like something? Would you like some milk? Milk? Would you like a milk? Okay. Okay. That's okay. I'll get you some milk, baby. So I'm doing some white gesso over my elements to soften up everything and kind of blend in together. Hey! Hanula! Okay. I, I understand. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Hey. She's not sure whether she wants to cry or laugh or smile. Okay, so white just on top to soften up the edges to kind of blend in everything. I can't look at my project, is it? No, I'd be looking at you. And yeah, that's kind of 
important part of the mixed media project when you do some dimension and 3D elements to raise uh, gessoing and highlight it's it's helping to highlight your elements basically gessoing uh, it's dry gesso so not much gesso on your on your brush just a bit a dry gesso so you can always help out yourself to add with your like lid and to not add too much gesso you can like soften up a little bit there to not have too much on your brush and just go over with the raised uh, where the raised elements are just go over so you can see how nicely this blends and you can see the um, the texture and the dimension and everything stand out nicely and looks very pretty indeed so and that kind of comes to life together I like to maybe because it's quite striking those lines which I like and it's interesting to see but maybe the edges of those lines I'm gonna just add a bit more gesso will I, will I add a little more gesso? what do you think? what do you think? gesso? gesso here is my composition dried and looking pretty good I have to say I like the colors grayish bluish kind of white I like that so dry just so everything now I think it's time to embelly uh, to uh, highlight things and I'm thinking to use those nouveau mousses I have them in kind of bluish which is nice uh, so I'm gonna just use my finger and see if I can just highlight some parts of embellishments just in few places and uh, maybe brighter and this was darker so I'll see if I can just I tried the darker one here actually on the side maybe you can see it so I'm just gonna gently add a touches of this uh, this mousse you can it's great because you can use it as your um, 3D because it's uh, it's it's you, you can use a 3D uh, modeling paste, but you can also oh you can hear the baby, <laughs> you can also use it uh, like me to to highlight your uh, your texture. You can use brush. I like to use my fingers maybe, so I'm highlighting the raised elements in just few places. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me. Oh, you can probably see how shiny that gets, which is nice. Hi, Emily. Hello. You're back. <coughs> You're back. So, did you make some things from clay? Yep. What did you do? I made a teddy bear and a mouse. The mouse. Okay, that's nice. And that stayed in Patricia's house? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because we didn't want to break it. Okay. So, um, we left it there. Mm-hmm. Now, the way I'm co 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 coloring that, it's really, um, I guess it's really personal how you go about it. You can go over all your embellishments or just partially. I just do it partially. I just think it's nice to just highlight in few few places, not everywhere maybe. Uh, just in few in few are oops, that's too small. Few areas. And now I'm gonna grab the actually one more which is here on the back. A little more. I like that color, it's nice, delicate blue maybe i read you the color just in case you'll ask me Doo -doo -doo. powder blue powder blue yeah old navy is this one and that is powder blue powder blue sounds nice i think powder blue mm -hmm. so it is nice and shiny you can also use waxes or you can also use Inca Gold, which could be lovely as well. Now I have green gold, Inca Gold. I'm gonna see if, and I have also green mousse, or maybe I'm gonna grab the mousse first. Uh, oh, I never used this even. That's, that's how bad it is. You just buy things and you don't use them. 
let's see that's nice but no it is nice actually wow it is nice but it's darker but it's nice I like that oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's lovely mm. super Mm-hmm. That's nice. So, yet again, there are some erased areas. I'm trying to add some color to it. Maybe on side here as well. It would be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I hope you can see how nice and shiny that is and that green mousse is called sea spray green sea spray green so you can have a look it's a nice uh, product because you can highlight things with it and you can also use it as your modeling paste and create texture with that indeed I have to try it someday for sure now what about if I'll check my green go Inca gold? Oh, the baby's calling. Let's see. Oh, that's nice as well. Just a touch of that because it's more green. I think I think they need me there. They're trying to. <laughs> I don't know. The the little one is. Oh, the little one is. They changing nappy. I think. <laughs> I like that green. I like that green. It's just uh, more greenish, basically. Like you can see that, like a dirty green and more green. I think I prefer the, this green, so I'm gonna go back and just go a little bit with my mousse back again. I think I prefer that color a little more. The dirty. It's nice to have maybe a mix of both because then you you get all sorts of shades that you don't expect. So maybe that is nice. Maybe that is nice to, you know, for me the most important is that today I'm using products that they were on my shelf for so long and they deserve to be uh, in the spotlight today of my creation, I think. So that's nice. That's nice. Okay, now. I think we can nearly wrap up at that, finish at that, except that... It would be nice to add oh, Nuvo Drops. This will be lovely. Imagine this. Because that's what color. That is nice. Um, that is a nice color. That could be used as a 3D embellishment. And it's this uh, C color as well. Okay, let's try and see. If I can make little... little dots mm -hmm. just in a few places I love that and it's a same color pretty much as this mousse let's see let's read the color Neptune the nouveau crystal drops it's called Neptune so but it's very similar to the um, to to the mousse, so it's nice metallic green color, which I totally love. What are you eating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had that before a when waffle. you were a waffle. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going too much, maybe. So I'm gonna leave that. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Not too much, you reckon? I love that. I love it too. <laughs> I really, really do. I do, I do, I really do. But I'm thinking, as a last final touch, I have those sparkles jewels. Let me see. Let me see quickly. Hmm, or not. Oh, I have them things and them things. I think I think this could be super nice. 
a jewel for fell. Okay. I will use my hot glue. Thanks, Emily. You are a star. I'm gonna use a hot glue and just place this. Whoops! No, no, no. Oh. In a few spots. That's perfect. That is lovely. I'm gonna show you now in a closer look in two seconds. In just two seconds, guys. Guys, <laughs> why do I always say guys rather than say friends or I don't know, I just keep on saying guys, even though guys means boys, isn't it? <laughs> so, there we go. One here, which is lovely. I love it, love it, love it. I think those gems are giving this final touches. Those are say it in crystal from Prima. Again, these are very old one. Well, very old one. I mean like a year or two old. Uh, but um, I, I'm, I'm sure you we will be able to find it somewhere. But you have to probably look for it because they were from older... Uh, uh, old, in my older stash. Now this plus I promised to use crystal drops which I think it would be lovely. To add the that would be so nice but how will I use that now I'm gonna grab a tiny brush and I'm gonna grab some gel medium soft gel medium I have one from little birdie soft gel medium so you can just you can just glue this down with the gel medium where will I add it? maybe somewhere like there and place those there ah oh, that's so nice maybe like there <laughs> what are you whispering there Emily? What are you doing, guys? <laughs> uh. Minding a little baby, it's not easy, isn't it? Are you changing a nappy, guys? No. No? Are you trying to entertain her so she wouldn't cry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now, where else will I add it? That will look nice. <laughs> I'm trying to see where this could be added. Maybe like there? Is she interested in your... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of. Maybe one there. One or two there as well. Okay. And I think we're done. Well, maybe some title? No, no title. No title this time. Not everything must have a title, right? Okay. Phew! That was interesting, inspirational for me, and nice to be back to such a, a pretty intense project, I'd say. I'm gonna show you that. Okay, this is, this is what we have now. I'm gonna just move that. And maybe I'm gonna bring camera closer so you can have a better look on how it looks and how it shines nicely. And I hope you can you can pick up. I hope camera is picking up this properly. And the back as well. I'm not gonna turn it around because the gel medium is not dry yet. So the back as well. Nice shadows of shades of. Let me put that back. Shades of green, green and blue. So this is what we have, and that's how it looks. I really hope this was uh, inspirational and a nice time spent with me. I hope you will create your own uh, cover of a journal of a book. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. It was really nice to be here, back again to my studio. 
and don't forget to share this video with your friends if you like and share it on your social media that would be lovely and I thank you in advance for all your lovely 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 comments uh, under the video thank you so much I'm sending you massive hugs and kisses and I will chat to you very very soon bye bye bye